Now, as long as people can keep the measures that we have given, and especially this idea of all teachers being vaccinated, I have said, and I will repeat, that the danger in schools is more to do with the teachers than to do with the students. Because essentially, when the, the, our, what we have observed is that the students are essentially asymptomatic. And the problem becomes when they pass it on to the teachers. So hopefully, the teachers will accept and agree that they all should be vaccinated. Workers in schools, workers in primary schools, secondary schools, and, all, and elsewhere should also be vaccinated. And they are frontline workers, and we have considered them as such. So in terms of vaccination, there is no shortage of vaccination for teachers. Let's ma let me just make it clear. We don't have a single policeman for everybody, for every, for, for every individual. So please, please, let us remember that it is you individually who is going to save yourself. And it is your responsibility to save yourself. It is not the responsibility of government to save you. It is the responsibility of individuals to save themselves. Governments create the environment in which you are able to do that. And I cannot emphasize enough the aspect of individual responsibility in this fight against COVID-19. The dominant variant is obviously the Delta variant. And the Delta variant, the difference is that it is more virulent. It is transmitting faster than the other, than the other variants that we have had. The severity of the disease is also higher with the, with, with the variant. So if people are going to a political rally, the responsibility of what happens thereafter lies both with the politicians as well as those who attended the political rally. I can tell you for a fact that nobody is going to make me attend a political rally. But over and above the political rally is also other gatherings. There are also the social gatherings. Very, 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 very uh, dangerous are funerals because what is happening, and we have emphasized within 72 hours, please let's bury our loved ones. Even baby showers. Last year we had that issue of baby showers. Now we have started all over again. And that's why you are seeing the statistics. One year olds, two year olds. Na tulisema mwaka uliopita. Ukiwa mtoto wa mezaliwa, wewe tu mpesa. Swali lako zuri sana. Nimelipenda sana swali lako na napenda sana fursa hii kuweza kulijibu kwamba hapo awali gwajima ulihimiza watu wajifukize. Je, unaendelea na msimamo huo? Naomba nilijibu kama ifuatavyo. Ugonjwa huu uliingia Wuhan Disemba 2019. Wakati dunia ilikuwa haielewi ifanye nini. Dunia nzima ilikuwa haina chanjo, haina formula ya dawa. Given the history kwamba tiba asili zilikuwepo toka zamani kabla ya dawa hizi zingine za kisasa hazijaja. Kutoka mwaka 2019, ukaja mwaka 2020, watu wakaanza kuangalia kwenye pool ya vaccines studies zilizopo zinazo uziana na SARS-CoV-2 si kwamba wanasayansi walikuwa wamekaa tu walikuwa wanatafuta majibu kutoka kwenye akiba zao za study mbalimbali ambazo ziko related na ugonjwa huu ilipofika mwaka 2020 mwishoni zikaanza kuja news kwamba maybe there will be vaccine and blah blah Mweshimiwa rais wa Jamhuri wa Muungano wa Tanzania wa Awami ya Tano, Hayati Joni Pombe Magufuli akiwa chato tarehe 27 Januari 2021 akasikia habari za chanjo 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 akasema Wizara ya Afya Tanzania musiwe mnakimbilia machanjo chanjo bila nyinyi kujiridhisha machanjo sio mazuri kuna inchi fulani iliwahi kukimbilia chanjo bila kujiridhisha ikapata matatizo fulani fulani na nyinyi mukajiridhishe Tarehe 27 Januari 2021. Tarehe 1 Februari nikaitikia tamko hilo mimi waziri wa afya Dr. Dorothy Gwajima. Nikaita press kama nyinyi hapa. Nikamwambia tumemsikia mheshimiwa rais akiwa chato aliposema pamoja na kusema yote kuangaliza kuhusu chanjo. 
amesema tukajirizishe na si tunaanza kujirizisha chanjo bado mpaka tujirizishe tuendelee kujifukiza piga tibasiri fanya mazoezi kula malimao vitamin C kazi iendelee Mwenyezi Mungu akampenda sana hayati John Pombe Magufuli akaja mheshimiwa Samia Suluh Hassan rais wa awamu ya sita akasema kazi iendelee kazi ya kuendelea kujirizisha na chanjo ikaendelea akaunda kamati ya wataalamu niangalizieni wapi atuendi vizuri wapi tunatakiwa tuende vizuri kwa nyakati za sasa wakamwambia sasa chanjo hizi zilizoanza kusemwa mwaka 2020 ambazo tulikuwa tuna uhakika nazo tujirizishe sasa nchi nyingi zimeshatumia kwenye Covax facility zimeshafika nchi kama 175 tunazo data hizi hapa chanjo inapunguza ukali wa magonjwa chanjo inapunguza vifo data tunazo tumereview tumetimiza agano la kujirizisha hivyo tunakushauri mheshimiwa rais fikiria sasa kuanza kuingiza afua ya chanjo Tanzania